What is going on guys? Codestar here back with another video. Today we are going to be reviewing a battle beat -em on Now, this box can contain either Cobalt Blade or um, Chrome Zypher. But you already read the title of the video, so I won't waste any time trying to make you guys guess. It is Chrome Zypher. I do have both of these. These were already opened whenever I got them. But obviously not open all the way. Because this stuff is still sealed. I will be doing a build video. I will be using the basic tool set from Tamiya in order to cut the pieces out. I'll have a link to where you can get this in the description. It's really good for hobbies. And I'm using this uh, razor blade to make sure you do not use any sharp tools such as cutters or a knife or whatever without parents' permission. That's not even working too well anyway. And also comes with a little testing station. I'll be trying this out as well as testing the beat em on with the brake bomber set. Set the stickers aside. And let's look at these instructions. Where are we starting off? Alright, here's step one. I need this piece, it looks like. A2? Yes, this is A. This is piece number two. Go ahead and cut that out. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed one. I thought I had it. All right. So, it's that, and then this yellow piece, it looks like. And it, or wait, oh, I grabbed the wrong piece. Oh well. We'll just. We'll try this again. We'll act like that didn't happen. That's it for this frame. Anyway, this yellow piece goes in like this, I guess. Alright, I guess that's the trigger. Oh, we needed this piece anyway. Looks alright. So this goes in here. But you need this to set this piece in here. All right, that piece snaps in there. And then we can put this on here. Alright, so that's it for the A pieces. I guess we'll get on with B pieces now. We'll put the stickers on after it's built, and I won't show myself putting that on. What's next? B3, B4, and B2. This is piece number 3 here. And I dropped it. Oh wait, no, that was B2. But on the back here, there's a number 3. But this is piece number 3. My bad. So we'll go ahead. We'll cut these out. This is piece number 4 that I'm cutting out right now. Right. Put the feet on. 
Um, the reason I didn't get that in so smoothly is because I'm trying to look at the camera, make sure this is in view. There's one arm, and here is the other arm. This guy's pretty short compared to the other beat -em on Especially Pemby. I never realized how short these guys were. Here's Pemby, and here's Chrome Zypher. I didn't realize that these were shorter. Just imagine until I compare them to um, Gervais or someone from Crossfight. Next, we're gonna need C1 and C2. This is the C pieces here. Oh, these are rubber. Wow. That's rubber. There's one, and here is two. If I can get this little tab here is blocking me a little bit. All right, boom. That's it for that frame. Now, Piece number two. Alright, there's little slits right in these little ear pieces here. I guess you line that up, slide them in there. Uh, that's. Is this the wrong ear? Okay, there we go. I had the wrong piece in. Uh, and yeah, this is definitely something you might have to glue. Alright, there he is. Put his ears on. Uh we're gonna need B1 and B5. And these look like they're the last two pieces. So I guess we're done after we install these. Um, one of these, this piece that I'm cutting out now, just looks like a trigger grip or a trigger extender or something. And this piece adds power to the shot by going into these little holes here and by doing that that means that when the ball comes out these are gonna spread this way which makes the back pieces go in but since the back pieces can't go in because this is gonna be blocking it that means there's gonna be more resistance and it's gonna make the ball a little more powerful oh and the ears fell out all right Go ahead and slide this on. Let's try putting these ears back on one more time. After this video is done, I'm definitely gonna glue those. Um, yeah, and then I guess that's stickers after this. Let me try to get a shot of this guy, like a quick little overview while the ears are still on. Up, oh, and they fell off just as I was done with the overview. So I'm gonna pause and we'll put the stickers on and we'll see how he looks. All right, guys, this is Chrome Zypher with his stickers on. I think he looks pretty dope. On one of his ears, it says Gray. Gray is the name of the guy who owns this guy. And then this ear says Zero because that's the system that these guys use. And I dropped an ear. His shoulder there says Zypher because that's his name. Um, this w The stickers weren't too frustrating. The eyes were probably the hardest. I had to use tweezers to get those up in there.
underneath this lid here. Alright, I'm gonna... Well, I guess I'll see how long I can keep these ears on. So I went ahead and built this contraption here. Um, it's a ramp with three targets that just sit up here. Basically what you do, and this is my first time testing it out, and there's not enough room in there for the third marble. Um, Alright, I just fixed this. So basically, we, now we can try this out, and I guess you just shoot up there, and oh wow, what do you, uh, what do you know? Didn't really do anything. <laughs> well, it did something, but it didn't work the way it was supposed to, is what I meant. You're supposed to be able to knock these targets out one at a time, but... You know, unless there's something holding this thing still, it's not really going to work out. We could try getting up real co close. Oh, that went flying. Alright, I think that's enough for this. Is this thing supposed to come with a spring? I'm missing a spring. I might have to look for that real quick. Alright, we're back. Um, this guy did not have a spring. I checked the instructions. It's not listed in there. I rechecked all the stuff that I pulled out of the box. And I opened up the other figure and that didn't seem to have a spring either. But real quick, before we test this guy out. Here's uh, Drassian. I think he looks the most like Drassian way smaller as you can see I just reviewed these two guys along with this set not too long ago so y'all can check that out if you want um, the marbles are not compatible as you can see this is a little small oh wait actually that looks like <laughs> nope it uh doesn't work. Anyway, we'll go ahead and give this guy a test shot. I think he's supposed to be a rapid fire type, but obviously with no spring, that's not really going to work out. Oh, jeez. So that marble went flying. Let me take the ears off. But it didn't knock out... Uh, it's not strong enough to knock out the cube. What do you know? Either it's not strong enough or... Well, I guess it's not strong enough. It can't knock out the cube. Oh, there we go. Now it can. So yeah, I can't really test this guy too much. Because, you know, he doesn't have a spring. I guess this is more of just a... You know, you better have your own spring. I don't have a spring, so, yeah. What I can try and demonstrate is him with and without his power bar. So, I guess we'll just... Seem like that had a... That had a really easy time shooting out compared to when this power bar is on and it takes a little more force to shoot it well actually it doesn't require too much force the shots are a little more powerful it's too bad that this guy didn't come with a spring I mean I guess I could try to nah this spring might be too long oh well um, I guess that's all I can really do with this guy. I mean, I guess we can put the ears on and have one final look at him before camera turns off. 
put a marble in them. Um, I guess here's the articularity. Is that the right word? I don't know. Pretty much just the arms go back and forth. That's about it. Uh, so yeah, nothing really much else to do with this guy. So I guess that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.